Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we helped Akari complete his quest by uh, Mary, and by uh, both battling this alpha Pokemon, and we also saw Waydeer, which is a great Pokemon that is part of that land. And right now we just came back home and now we're actually someone's waiting for us. Pretty sure I remember it's Akari. And yeah, so we're gonna leave this place and go talk to her, or go talk to whoever's outside. It was Akari. There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a Shama. Shama. Ah, oh, there we go. In the trailer. Diamond Clan Pro. There you go again. Ins insisting on your false image of almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the truly almighty Sinnoh. The fun and all creation and ruler of space. Ha! Huh. You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of our vast Hizui space? Better than some. It's a miracle. You showed up on time, almighty oh leader of the Pearl Clan. I worry that you get lost in pointless vast space. You're so fond and have never showed up. Me, get lost. An almighty Sino's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very base. You wish. Okay. That's Diamond and Pearl Clan for you. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you, almighty Sino. Almighty Sino, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to the Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was who startled, started this. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You had not met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Irita, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and on about time, Adam, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan gradually coexist at the moment. Apparently, th things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean, the commander is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to choose a side which one. I already know which one I'm already gonna choose. Without hesitation. And just reveals from my past Pokemon game that I played. So he said commander, okay. So I have to go this side first. What's this? There are some requests posted on the blackboard, which one would you like to? Or some the dog player. Wait, what? Um you seem to ban which one I'm thinking. Okay, so I can just get more requests from here. Stop arguing, I'm here now. What do you intend to do about that Clairvore, Commander Commando? You may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adam. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Kiwar is the precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can intervene directly where the lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back to each other's thro throats, just like we used to be. But even folks of the galaxy have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. I can do that. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? Me. I don't believe I said that. Though, maybe. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cle Cleavor into such violent frenzy. I like to know that myself. This is the first time as far as, as my clan knows too. Hmm, I see you arrived. Yes, I arrived on time. This is Mike, the newest member of our survey call. Hello, how you doing? I'm the chosen hero. Ah, I heard from Mai you earned Weird Deer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. 
that guy call me the stranger that fell from the sky? I'm Adam, leader, leader of the Diamond Clan. If you want to be for me, but that's not a, that's a mouthful. Just call me Adam. And I'm Adam. You come from beyond the space-time rift. Could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to arise, reside? I'm Irie, leader of the Para Clan. Cautious and foresight are my watchwords, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Can you really have passed through the rift? Yes, I passed through that rift. I have proportions. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You send this stranger, who supposedly fell from the rift, to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? Hey, wait a minute. I came from the future. I know how to battle and I know how to coexist with Pokemon. Says the leader with all, almost no experience. Yeah. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Isui fastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If you, if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. I'm solo commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I get to see how good you, good you Galaxy folks really are. With all your real rays, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Isui vast so Pokemon can live freely throughout. We're meant to st stand along them, not count ourselves above them. We do, no ne we do not use Pokeballs from desire to co control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Mike. I order you to study Clever and help us find, a find the truth of this situation. I accept. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Mission, the frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Got it. Wait, did I not activate it? I think I didn't. Well, that tells. There's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, descending from the Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty. Say no own power. No other Pokemon should let encounter yet compared to his strength. Beware. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Izuid region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relationship with the Diamond and the Pearl Clan. Understand? You got it. Oh. Join me downstairs, Mike. We'll cover the details of this new mission. You got it, Silene. Alright, tell me the details. I'm ready. Ah, good. You're already here. Professor Lavender, the brief, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Mike, I understand you've been requested to find the cause of Cleaver's frenzy state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Night Invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they rely. Once they're real. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course I can. I'm confident in myself and my skills. Very well, then let us go over to the let's get over the particulars. Particulars. The Diamond and Pearl Clan revere the nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty city. They live offering to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Sea. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find a what sort of offering they normally leave for this cleaver. Mike, we need to speak with you. Oh, uh, well, there's him. My. Listen, that rift in space time seems like it connects this world to the whole other world. That whole, that world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through a space time rift, that might mean you travel through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. 
Think about it. You must have been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I got a favor to ask you, amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver. Quells its fancy friends. Well, you certainly caught us a good time, young Adam. Adam. We were just discussing our next step regarding uh, to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, must be that Galaxy Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to con come right out and ask. Those are the Galaxy team of all people for, her for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us of the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl, but still, we ought to go. We ought to gotta share easily, and that means we ought to tra tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best. Hope we got. It. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. There's that's in the very heart of the Heartwood. Harden, his wander is a boy named Lion. Lion is a brilliant child, but also a bit, uh, well, sometimes brilliant can be blinding, you know? He'll tell you all about this beloved Cleavor, his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyways, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting you. See you later. Alright, bye. Thanks for telling us. He certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really valued his time. Well, I mean, he follows he, he is from the Diamond Clan. Diamond uh, is uh, it's time. Adam my, and my weren't wrong. You know, if you you're to study and perhaps even club, Cleavor, your best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp would be a handy place for sending out uh, towards Grand Tree Arena, and you should stop by the pastures too. You want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. All right, so I can finally go now. That was so much to talk, but I don't mind since we got our first mission. Um, wait. Find yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across. Satchel always seem seeming full. If that sounds like you, you'd be wise to lend me your ears a moment and hear what I have to say. Um, all right, I'll listen to you. What do you have to say? If I can pick up some stuff. Uh, you care not need more satchel here if you learn a trick. Teach you if you like what you say. Uh, okay, teach me. Anyway, I'll teach you. <laughs> it needs a hundred. Really? I have to pay to learn? Okay, fine. That's a rob. I thought you would tell me for free. Perfect. Now let me hear your ears. Okay. You made a space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel. That's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in? You ready care what do you say? You want you, you want to be able to carry you more than you want to you. Uh, maybe later. Yeah, like, thanks for opening up my satchel. But I got a mission to complete. I need to go investigate this Cleavor situation. Right, anyways, I'm gonna go out. Who's stopping me now? I was just so close. How are things, my good friend? Well, uh... I certainly hope you're putting that um, secret back strike technique I taught you to good use. Uh, yeah, I am. Either way, I have some super potion here, just for you. Think nothing of it. Having the survey corpse out about studying Pokemon is great for the business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. You're doing these super potions. Okay, thanks. Now I must depart. They are ruins. Alright, good luck with that. Now I'll do my stuff. Goodbye. Now I can find the lady. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is the only way I have to go up. Alright, let's see that bass star leaves here. I'm gonna leave one of these ones. Thank you. Oh snap, this is I fall from here, I'm dead. Wait, what is that? Uh, oh, look at that. that. I'm guessing it's an alpha Pokemon. Again, slowly. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. Still not slide. Thank you. Oh, okay, 
right. It's Star Arabia. Yeah. Just looking around. It's 15. Damn it, I should have been. Do not die. Okay, now I can catch him. Now run away. Ow. Yeah, I need to level up here. I'm not gonna fight. Do not attack. Please. Yes, throw a Pokemon. And now you're mine. Better stay in there. Good. Oh, wait, I have another one? Yo, I did not expect that. Okay, this is interesting. Let's see, bite. Bite my beam. Do not die, Jinx. Uh, he died. Starling. Swap. Vine type versus vine type. Not pretty good, but just catch it. Aerial ace. Just the best. Don't do that much. Yep. Okay. Get off your up. Just need to catch her, that's all. Yes, I want to throw Pokemon. Now you're mine, sorry. Stay. You're in the red zone. You're mine. Okay, yep. Alright, um. I need a heal. Alright. So I'll be right back. I'm just gonna level up my Pokemon. I'm going to try to level them to level 20 all of them until, uh, you know. So I'll be right back and I'll see you guys in a bit.